I have a question for the Republican Party, and I want them to answer this honestly. What is the difference between a Republican and a Democrat? I know I'm going to piss people off with this one, but it doesn't really matter to me. The most important takeaway is showing you the truth, and that's what I'm grounded in. So, with that being said, is there really a difference between the two parties? You may be thinking, yes, there is. Dimitri, why are you even asking this question? But there's a reason. It's simple. Let's start from the top. A Republican is supposed to be America first and pass laws that better our lives in the long run, even though they may damage us in the short run. As we saw in 2016, with Trump becoming the president of the United States, he made it so that there is zero wars, he moved the United States Embassy to Israel, he increased the average middle class family income by $6,000, he employed more Americans than ever before, just ask yourself. Was there ever a time between 2016 and 2020 where you wanted a job and you couldn't get one? No, there wasn't. Income also rose in every metro area in the United States for the first time in three decades. He lifted 7 million people off of food stamps, all while making the bottom 50% of America increase their net worth by 40%. This is speaking from experience here, because the stock market was so good under Trump, we also saw record people investing, which led to me, personally, seeing an increase in my net worth of over 300%. It's crazy, but it couldn't be more true. Trump is a prime example of what it means to be a true Republican, and it should be what every Republican aspires to be. I like to say, if Republicans woke up and asked themselves what would Trump do, and they did it, in a political sphere, this country would be better off. Now that we know the prime example of what a Republican really is, what are the differences between Republicans and Democrats more broadly? This doesn't go for every Republican in our Congress and our government, but it does go for most. Democrats like to use their skin color or their gender to say whether or not they can talk about a certain situation. Take for instance AOC, which constantly uses her race as a playing card whenever her impressions on Twitter hit a low number. An example of this being done would be this clip of her. Consistency, there is nothing consistent with the Republican Party's continued attack except for the racism and incitement of violence against women of color in this body. I had a member of the Republican caucus threaten my life and you all and the Republican caucus rewarded him. You can see that she's bringing up her race and saying that America is racist, yada yada yada. This is left-leaning talking points, right? We can all agree on that. What the left left also likes to do is tear down statues of our forefathers because of it being racist or something. Here's another clip of a Democrat saying this exact thing. It is our opportunity as a nation to remove the monuments and the names and the statues that uplift individuals who are traitors, as we've seen over the last several weeks. Obviously, our history is bad. We all know this. That's exactly why it should be taught and it should be reminding us so history doesn't repeat itself. Let me show you this clip of a so-called Republican. We were the only Indian family in our small southern town. I was teased every day for being brown. So anyone that wants to question it, can go back and look at what I've said on how hard it was to grow up in the deep south as a brown girl. Is there a difference? Mm, I don't think so. There is no difference between those two people. One's a Democrat and one's so-called Republican. Like I've said in the past, some Republicans are Republicans in name only, or Rhino for short. How about Senator Josh Harley, which according to the Heritage Action, a conservative scoring website, is a full 100% conservative. I applaud you. There are major differences between these two people right here in the Republican sphere, in the conservative sphere, because like I said, there's major differences between Republicans and conservatives. But in this case, it would be comparing a Democrat, Nikki Healy, to a Republican, Josh Harley. Now that we know the differences, it's like night and day. We can also see while they are trying to examine Hunter Biden, which is Joe Biden's son, in Congress, a Congress lady brings up the fact that she is a strong conservative woman. Watch. Uh, excuse going? me, Hunter. Oh, Apparently, you're afraid of my words. Uh, here <laughs> oh. I like to reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. Wow, that's too bad. <laughs> I think it's clear and obvious for everyone watching this hearing today that Hunter Biden is terrified of strong conservative Republican women because he can't even face my words as I was about to speak to him. So if we on the right, keep using leftist talking points, what differentiates us 
from left-leaning talking heads. Absolutely nothing. Let me ask you this. If there is no difference between a Democrat and a Republican when it comes to November of this year, who are the people going to vote for? The real thing or the cheap knockoff version? of the thing. This is exactly what happened with Ron DeSantis. As much as I love Ron DeSantis and I read his book, I wanted to vote for Ron DeSantis, but it turned out to be that Trump was the figure that people were more looking at. And Trump is actually the person that we can look at and say, listen, he has experience in the presidential field. He was president. This is a non-consecutive second term technically for him. Also, all of those things, we can put them aside because at the same exact time, which lane is he going? That's exactly what I mean. Because if he's going to be in the Trump lane, then what is Trump in. There's no better person to Trump Trump because Trump is the ultimate Trump because Trump is Trump.